Districts had to push their starting date or close school on altogether if they did start. Today, though, was the first day for school for students in Effingham County. They were supposed to start last Thursday, but today is their first day. You can see students on their way back into the classroom on your screen right now with those big backpacks. Our Mackenzie Baker stopped by a couple of schools in Effingham County to see how the start of the new year is shaping up. Students and staff in Effingham County returned to school today after weather conditions, including major flooding, delayed the original start date. The school year was supposed to begin last week until Storm System Debbie pushed it back to Monday. South Effingham High School Principal Torian White says safety is the number one priority for his students and starting fresh on Monday helped a lot of families out. Those additional days last week allowed many families to be able to uh, remove some barriers and show up to school today. White says as students return to the classroom, there are three main goals he wanted them to accomplish on the first day, including making sure they know where they're going, getting them fed during lunch, and having them make it home safe at the end of the day. I spoke with one Guyton Elementary School parent who says she can hardly imagine how families affected by the storm are feeling except to say they're probably stressed. Trying to figure out how to get their kid to school safely and also adequately on time because of traffic and school being crazy. <laughs> school Superintendent Dr. Yancey Ford says as long as parents communicate with their schools about any Debbie-related problems affecting their students' attendance, absences should not be held against them. Broderson, whose child happens to be special needs, says having the school district make those kinds of decisions reminds her why she enrolled her child in the county to begin with. Um, it can definitely be hard, so just the support has been absolutely wonderful. <laughs> so far, there are no official plans for making up the two days of missed instruction at a later point in the school year. The Board of Education will have to vote on the matter. Despite the setbacks, Dr. Ford says he's feeling excited. So we're happy to get to this day, and, um, and we're looking forward to a great school year. In Effingham County, Mackenzie Baker, WTOC News. WTOC has all your back to school coverage. To find out more on Effingham County students return and all of our students heading back to the classroom, go to our website, WTOC.com. Just look for the back to school page. Well, as the students head back, a new health resource could soon be available and valuable for families. New at 430, a new needle free alternative to the EpiPen could help kids and parents.